Today I thought I'd make a quick video about something that many find frustrating, but when you fully understand what's going on, it's actually quite interesting. It involves loosening the collet on a router to remove the bit. I'm showing it here in a router table, but the same is true for handheld routers as well. The wrench breaks the collet nut free, and you begin to loosen it with your fingers, but after a turn or two, the nut gets tight again, and you have to use a wrench to break it loose a second time. What's happening? Is something wrong with your collet? No, it's just called a self-releasing collet. These are very common on Porter Cable or other similar routers, and they look something like this. The collet is the inner sleeve, which is attached to the nut so the two can act as a single assembly. You can snap the collet out and replace it with a different one, perhaps switching from quarter inch to half inch. But the two remain locked together during use. Now the base of the collet slips inside the hole on the end of the router shaft. Note how the hole is tapered to match the sloping sides of the collet. Also note the slits in the sides, which allow it to compress. As the nut is twisted onto the threads, the collet is drawn deeper into the hole, which begins to squeeze it onto the shaft of your router bit, locking it in place. It's difficult to see on camera, but perhaps you can notice how I can move the collet in and out of the nut just a little bit. You can see it a little better from the top side. This movement is due to the slot at the top of the collet being a little bit larger than the ring inside the nut where it locks in place. This movement is necessary so the nut will spin freely, but it's also what causes that two-step bit removal process. The first step breaks the nut free from the threads on the router. Then the first couple of turns will be loose as the nut takes up that slack inside the slot. But the collet itself is still jammed down in the tapered hole. So when the slack is gone, the nut will feel tight again as it begins pulling the collet upward and out of the hole. So a wrench is again required to break that friction hold, and then the bit comes loose. Now why do they call it a self-releasing collet when you have to use a wrench twice to loosen it? Well, take a look at this router. This collet is integrated into the motor shaft. It's just slit so the shaft will compress around the router bit as the nut's tightened over top of it. When you loosen the nut, the slit may spring back open and free the bit, or it may not. These often become jammed and you sometimes bang on them a little bit with your wrench to release the bit. But by drawing the collet up and out of the shaft, the self-releasing version frees the bit automatically as the nut is loosened. I'm not saying these never get stuck a little bit on the bit, but not nearly as bad as these. So the next time your collet gets loose, then tight again, then loose again, you'll know why. Check out the links below for more interesting router videos, but before you do, I think you're going to want to see this. MyWoodcutters.com is the sort of small business I like to support. Stefan is a great guy, and he can find you knives and cutters for almost any joiner, planer, shaper, or molding machine. And his are the best prices if you're planning to upgrade to a Helico Carbide Cutter Head. Please use the link below this video to check with him before you buy somewhere else. Some small businesses are just worth supporting.